Hello and welcome to what I call a new video, and today we are going to be playing... Uh, Korea. Woo! Korea! I hate everything. So as Korea, we uh, have absolutely nothing, and that we have very good. I struggle to find fun. Nevertheless, we are going to put the armed forces into government and then go ahead and get a professional army going. Uh, these people do not like it because they are cringe. We can get ourselves some artillery. And we can get ourselves some food industries that will actually be pretty profitable because we are in the Qing market. And there we diddly do. We can actually go down to very low taxation, which is kind of park jam. And the king intervenes into political process. You love to see him. He's eight years old. Went in that room and said, we need a professional army. Yeah, that's how I'm eight years old. Why do the interest groups in Korea have a name? What? Why does Korea have flavor? The East India Company doesn't. What do you mean? Neither does Mexico. What do you... Why does Korea have... Sure, why not? You know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta do it to them, you know? It is so incredibly stupid. Anyways, now we can get ourselves some abolishing of serfdom, which will make them unhappy minus nine. Which isn't angry enough to lead the government and be a bitch about it, so... It's fine. Oh no, they landed in two separate places. Oh, they, sent the f they landed in three separate places. Failed one of them. Won the other one. I don't understand that invasion. Anyways, uh, the uh, Qing actually managed to push out the British, which is interesting. Why? Why do you want to open so many markets? You're not gonna land. I'm gonna be real with you. Bureaucratical. <laughs> Anyways, you might have noticed that I am dying right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing I'm losing a shit ton of money. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the actual taxation law and then I'm gonna go this. Uh, just so I can, you know, build faster with our one construction sector. Well, the British will land again. And it appears that the British are actually Diane Bryan once more. Ratio. Oh, they took they took one province. Well, that, that certainly is not helping. Uh, and now they're going to take Beijing. It is unfortunate to be the Great Qing right now. And to be honest, the Great Qing... Oh, Overlord, and we are in the Great Qing market, so if they get a, you know, treaty port over here in the Great Qing, then we are going to be in the Great Qing market. So basically, Britain can just steal our shit. <laughs> the way it is worded here is the absolute worst, <laughs> okay? So, here's the thing. Cannot set priority on grain in the Qing market since you are not part of the market. That is simply wrong. I am part of the Qing market, I am just not the overlord of the Qing market. And you can't send an export of things when you're not the overlord of the market. Because the Qing Empire is on mercantilism, meaning they get the entire thing uh, for themselves. So I obviously can't send an export. Like, what do you mean I'm not part of the market? Just tell me that a subject nation can't do an export focus. It's not that hard, man. Why does Victoria Free lie? I don't understand. They even got poor visibility and they still lost. Ah, oh, Great Qing. Oh, Great Qing. It's a Beijing treaty port too. Oh no. You do have state religion, so please keep it that way. And don't, don't try to do anything funny. Also, I would close borders if I were you. I would close borders if I were you, Mr. Great Qing Empire. So now you should be pissed. Yes. That's very much very critical radicalism. We did get an industrial boom. Kaboom. Right, let's get him back in here. Why is that 88? What do you mean? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we want at least 90 something. Okay, now I have an input good shortage in artillery and we can do that by doing an arms industries. Mm, tools are still expensive and we can go to pig iron tools. Because, you know, iron mines. And if we look at our iron mine, we do actually have one. It's on the worst tech. I mean, we're at least a little bit self-sufficient. It's not that bad. Okay, tooling workshop fully employed. 26, that's not very good. You want uh, tooling workshops to be not very expensive. And we got ourselves the stock exchange. Oh, this guy, abolitionist, <laughs> you'll love to see him. Like this thing did create like 100 affluent uh, capitalists. Wait, we have slavery, hold on a second. No, we don't. What do you mean you're an abolitionist then? And we had a crop failure. Uh, it's just 900, oh no. Anyways, I also need to, you know, make cannons over here. Most because it's the artillery that has a problem. I do have 30 barracks, Jesus Christ. Like, considering, like, literally everyone else, our standard living is not doing that badly. Okay, let's look at the entire world and then go to the standard living map mode. The only places that really stand out is, like, parts of North America and Australia. And everything else besides it is completely red. Like, everything around K Korea is actually just red. We are white. On the standard living. We're not- we're talking about standard living map mode, man. 
Also, the cloud of the industrialists has been going up very, very nicely. Because uh, there's a lot more capitalists uh, just going around. We do need lead, which is unfortunate, because we don't have lead. Uh, we're gonna do this anyways. And then I'm gonna try to... Where is it? There it is. Uh, and then I'm gonna... Actually, liquor is like really not expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna try to export liquor. And the more liquor we export, the more profitable it will be for the food industries. Still my Jesus. <laughs> But they are very much profitable, and it's the number one food industries in the world. That's concerning. Nevertheless, it's going down again. I really need that. I really need the cloud to be at five percent so I can put them into government and just do something very based. And we got ourselves a dedicated police force. Do we have no? Can we get yes? I'm actually gonna get myself a second construction sector, even though I very much cannot afford it, and there is no investment pool because we are on traditionalism. You know who can fix that? Mm -hmm. Violently points in someone's direction. They're very loyal, though. Not marginalized. It is marginalized because they don't have 5%. They need 5% to not be marginalized. How are they this bad? Anyways, let's take a look at the construction sector. We need iron and we need tools because these are expensive and they are doing all of that. So we're gonna build one coal mine and then we're going to build another iron mine. Oh, one of those. And another tooling workshop. Over here. I feel like I'm gonna build the tooling workshop first. Yeah, I'm gonna build the tooling workshop first. Never mind, actually. <laughs> you're, not, you're not doing this very good. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta keep an eye on this construction right here, because as soon as I get the coal mine, I'm gonna go ahead and make some gas street lights. So now that our coal mine is built and the coal is in an input good shortage, people should now start working in the coal mine. There you go. Actually, it doesn't help that much because we are we are in a surprising lack of tools. Jing Empire is actually creating 200 tools, of which I am creating 72. Right, that's a level one. That's like not even that bad. Yeah, still an input good shortage on coal, and coal over here is slowly getting filled. But it's not very profitable because tools. And the more expensive tools are, the more expensive uh, the actual construction is. I can reenact serfdom. So fast. <laughs> I miss the days when I could record. I miss the days where I could just play the game and that this would go at lightning speed. Ah, those were good old days. See, now I'm recording. And uh, <laughs> that's why my game's running not fast. And when I play Vic Free and don't record, that feels like a waste and it's stupid to do. So I'm not doing that anymore. So now I'm, j I'm just sad, because my PC may be good. It's not that good, though. And the Intelligentsia is gonna get some things. We also get a... Everything is gone. Everything is gone. Now we have canneries, and now we can just, you know, place a building. Let's go. Establishing a university has to be level 2. I have no idea where I placed the university. Probably over here. Yes, indeed, I did. Okay, we build another tooling workshop over here. Making tools plus 40 and... <laughs> plus 59. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, industrialist! Hey, 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 unacceptable. Hey, 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 this is minus 20. This is minus 10. This is minus 5. And this is minus 20. I am. I'm gonna make a grave mistake. <laughs> yep, they have left the government. Actually, they didn't. So I have 11. <laughs> I have 11 legitimacy. So if I do this, it's plus 8, so I then have 19. And if I go down tax loss, I have 24. Which is one off of 25. Okay. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I get, like, one more, all I gotta get is one more legitimacy. Please? <laughs> okay, nevertheless, we're gonna spend more tools here and here. Making tools even more expensive. Making me make even more tooling factories. 24. I am going insane. Can I get more legitimacy in other ways? Like this? No. Like this? No. Can't. Just can't. I cannot. I cannot have. So you're going out. Uh, you are going to get cancelled. Uh, you're going back in as soon as you feel like it. Higher learning. And we get more throughputs. We're also going to introduce not a consumption tax. Because we don't have the authority. Help me. Oh, that's crazy how I'm cancelling all of that. Anyways. Ooh, liquor. There we go. And... Hey, yo. Can we try again? 
It wouldn't radicalize them. They are actually on minus nine. We can do this. They endorsed the recent change from no police to the, the to uh, dedicated police force. You love to see it. You love to see it. Do it now. Tax opium. Tax services. We need money and laissez-faire. We definitely need laissez-faire. Both go hand in hand, basically. What is that fund? Okay. Tooling workshop built. It's actually plus eight. What? Wait. What's expensive? Paper. Paper. I make paper now. The yeah, iron is also expensive. I should build more iron mines. And clippers is also expensive. I do. I I do have a shipyard actually. I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. It does not make military shippers because we do not need military shippers. Preserve traditionalism. You better not start a goddamn revolution. Twenty three now. So uh, not happening. Okay. So how about you get your ass in the government and be only slightly upset? Get rid of this tax. Okay, now I can get rid of the liquor tax. And these new buildings should do me nicely. Also, coal is now very much in an input good shortage. I'm gonna not build this in this 100 weeks. That's a lot of weeks. We get a 6.8% chance, boys. Okay, let's look at the paper. Yeah, wood is getting kind of pricey. But paper is certainly getting produced. King! <laughs> 16 years old. You love to see him. Oh, line infantry. You love to line it. I'm lining him up. I'm lining him up. I'm, I'm lining him up all around. See, we would be able to... Um, we would be able to support our entire military. But we are not, because we're in the Qing market, which is unfortunate. The Qing market is doing nothing but pull me down, which is not something you want from your market. Also, if, like two people, bo both Great Britain and Portugal can just steal shit from me. <laughs> hey, can I get a, can I get a little bit of a, you would accept. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just ask nicely, apparently. Okay, now we have a few input good shortages. Right. So, coal, input good shortage in the Korean market. Makes sense. We're the number 10 producer worldwide, which you love to see, honestly. Uh, but let's take a little bit of a gander. How about a little bit of this? And a little bit of paper. Uh, we are producing paper, but not enough paper for us. Yeah, we just need to make more paper. I don't think I have to get that. Uh, I do have to get wood. Definitely have to get sugar. And I also die. So, but what that means is that now, then now we can do a funny thing. We can actually not do that and get ourselves a little bit of a corn law right here. And now we basically have to wait until the modern conservative event finds. Oh yeah, trade trade agreement. You love to see it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Yeah, we are making coal. We are going to make paper. We actually do not have a input charge of ships anymore. I don't think we need to build that either, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just as a little incentive, I'm also going to build a construction sector over here, and I'm going to build it right here, right now, in four weeks' time. Why is the event not fine? <laughs> Nevertheless, we jumped off a sinking ship, as you might be able to tell, the Russians immediately invaded. They were definitely scared off by the Korean powerhouse. A grain of power. Giving us loyalists and a lot of political strength for aristocrats for five years. Sure. But at least the events are still working. <laughs> that is what that told us. Okay, we definitely need to first build paper. Or we could just do paper, coal, paper, coal. Yeah. So, firstly, paper. I always got the uh, modern conservative event rather quickly. Uh, which is probably why the game is currently punishing me. We do have a small arms input to charge. Just unfortunate, really. Uh, how are our small arms doing? They're doing quite fine. Uh, iron's the problem. But it is fine for now. Can't believe they just said yes. It's. <laughs> I didn't expect them to. They just did. The industrialists are gonna fall out of favor. No! No! Industrialists! They're about to die! I don't have sulfur. <laughs> I'm not gonna get sulfur. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Okay, we no longer have a paper input good shortage. Look at us go. Just expensive now, which is still unfortunate. But we are now building two things. We are now building coal mines and a paper mill. Ah, uh, finally. And that actually gets rid of this uh, because uh, the modern conservative does not want this. So, uh, you know, 
you love to see it. Uh, we're also gonna stop this because I don't care, Lamau. We're gonna go ahead and get laissez faire. And of Corn Laws giving us a bunch of loyalists, look at us go. And this is the turn for the Korean Empire. We're gonna tax people a little bit less just so we have 90. Meaning, this goes incredibly fast. I hope we get a modifier which makes it like even faster, so we just speed run. Our interest rates, by the way, just on just the worst. We have the worst interest rates of all time. 35 is really bad. Um, nevertheless, rousing speech captivates the public, uh, giving us a lot more chance for an enactment. Yeah, we are now going in the red, so we are not not gonna do that anymore. It's gonna take a it's gonna take a few more days. But we're also getting a little bit of a modifier over here because we have a little bit of access authority. Speaking of access authority, I feel like we should get a little bit more of access authority. Because I don't think I need social mobility over here. Maybe also not in any place at all. Oh, we could get it and we still have uh, minus 25. Now what if I combine the minus 25 of this? Then, <laughs> it's go it goes pretty fast. And we got laissez fem. We are now making money on this tax law so we can immediately go ahead and get free trade. So let's take a gander at our investment pool. It's not that much, of course, but it's fine enough. Don't need this. Uh, marketplace of ideas, giving us more success. And we can get ourselves not steel. We don't have steel, but we could get ourselves patent stills. Uh, making even more liquor. Now we get ourselves some clothes. And then we go over here, get ourselves furniture. And then we go over here to our smaller, uh, no, actually not. We do not have uh, anything, okay. Get a little bit of extortion going. And we're gonna go ahead and actually get more liquor out of this goddamn nation. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to do a little bit of this. <laughs> because there's three emperors, em emperors, empires right here uh, that will all take my liquor. And the more liquor I gave uh, th that I give away to other people, the more expensive it will get, the more profit this food industries will have. Now, groceries, that's a fine price, but liquor, that's not a fine price. It's very cheap. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And now, as you might be able to tell, that's a lot, of more <laughs> that's a lot more profitable than it was before. I do need class. I do have a lot of class. Also, we just got free trade. Mm, I'm actually gonna do all of this. Position tools, yeah, all of this. Don't have a lead. I feel inclined to make a steel industry. So that small dip over here was uh, us leaving the Qing market. We were pretty self-reliant at that point, uh, so it is fine. Uh, but now we've already shot past the point we left the market at. So we are doing quite nicely for ourselves. Our GDP has grown back uh, to what it used to be, because there's no longer input code shortage and all that. Uh, clothes are still just not in this nation, uh, so we will have to fix that, which we are currently doing. And we can get ourselves a little bit of an export going for porcelain to a bunch of people. We can also export grain a little bit, but just a little bit. Don't overdo it. Right, so we do not have the bureaucracy to sustain all of this, but we can simply make another government administration building. And we are currently making a bunch of money, and we are not that good with our bureaucracy. We, But... We just had a giant spike in our GDP, and look at our investment pool go. Even with all of the expansion I've done, it is still just 9k, and it has to be 12k. Uh, but I am paying like 3k of construction right now, and I'm making 5k. Which, admittedly, now I'm only making 2. But, <laughs> it's fine. I'm on low taxes, and I'm still making money while building. So that's basically what you want to be at. And we got ourselves Napoleonic Warfare, which we will introduce in our good old army, which isn't even that much money, because we are making artillery ourselves over here. Making the arms industries very profitable, because everything is very expensive. It's actually an input good shortage. Should probably build another one. Nevertheless, we now have a level 33 trade center over here in the southern state. It is all between the Qing Empire, uh, me, and all the other partners, which is Russia, Austria, and Prussia. Which will only get better as Prussia unifies Germany. And, you know, Russia and Austria gobble up a little bit of Africa. Yep, yeah, Russia is actually already gobbling up a little bit of Africa, so we might be able to import some of the things we need from Russia. So now all I need is silk, and I should be able to import silk from the Qing. Indeed, I can. Now, one of the expensive things in my country is steel tools. And let's get some furniture up and running. Furniture is being built. Uh, clothing is also being built. 
It is actually still a input good shortage. Interesting. Wait, what? We don't have ma- Oh, we don't have enough ships over here. Hold on a second. Uh, we can't actually upgrade our ports, so we have to build another one. And we've reached 8 million GDP. I call it the Korean economic miracle. I failed that sentence. I'm not gonna redo it. With all of our reforms and all of our building, the industrialists are now doing quite nicely. With 12% clout, we are also losing a bunch of money because I'm currently building a government administration building. Even though, at this point, like, I'm only minus three. So that's kind of awesome. Gonna be losing money for nine weeks. We're gonna go ahead and actually get wealth voting. Also, we get colonization, which is awesome. Well, they don't like it. <laughs> but they're still plus 20 loyal because I've done a lot of things they like. This guy is actually, like, not liked at all. He may be an expert political operator, giving us a little bit more authority, but people don't like him. Because he's reserved. Because being reserved apparently is a sin from God. Korean God. <laughs> Actually, not even Korean God, it's everywhere, so it's probably a sin towards the Victorian God. Nevertheless, 3.3 .3 million GDP over here, and we get 1.4 over here, because that's our main trading center over here. And by main trading center, I mean it's the only one. <laughs> like, literally. It's the only trade center we have. And the cash reserves, they do nice. They could subsidize it for no reason at all. And we got ourselves 10 million people in our nation. That went down again. That's unfortunate. Let's take a look at our investment pool. Oh! It's actually been going quite nicely indeed. So we are going to actually go ahead and make another construction sector over here. And we're going to put it on the top of the... Cool, now we have got some glass, now let's get some of this, actually. We also need to build a little bit of a... Oh, we can't actually build chemical factories, because we need intensive agriculture for that. Also, the reason I say chemical factories is because of a very funny thing. Because for you see, <laughs> you're guilty! <laughs> Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, now it, they uh, should lose a little bit of money. Yes, indeed they do. But, you know, the investment pool will scale, as does our construction. And even if we have to pay just a few thousand uh, over to the construction sectors, uh, that's fine. We have enough money. Sins of the past, power corrupts... Oh, no. Fuck. It's actually not you. <laughs> you didn't get a debuff. <laughs> who did get a debuff is this guy. He's a military officer who has is also a market liberal, which is honestly based. This guy is based. He made the Korean economy what it is today. And I commend him for that. Nevertheless, the tooling workshops are a little bit too profitable, if I do say so myself. We are going to go ahead and actually make it iron now. No, steel. I did build a stealing thing over here, and now we're gonna do steel, and then we're gonna do another steel mill. Because it's actually an input good shortage. <laughs> Probably because no one's working in the stealing uh, thing. Yes, no one was working there, so it should be fine. Or at least be less bad than first expected. Yes, it is indeed fine. That's just spiking our GDP. <laughs> Like, if we look out, uh, there's... You can, you can see, you can, you can see little Korea over here. It, it, like, it stands out. We got ourselves a little bit of wealth voting. And, for God's sake, this is the best government I can do. And I just want to abolish the monarchy. Which, the only one in favor of that is the intelligentsia. Now, let's take a gander. What if I pull you all out of here and get you in here? You wouldn't like that. Like that. Gonna have to rely on this election. <laughs> well, as soon as they have a market liberal, well, as long as they have a market liberal in charge, I don't think they're gonna lose any elections because it's gonna be both the armed forces and the uh, <laughs> the Yang Bang officials working together. But you know, this guy's 38. He might just kill over at any moment. You know, considering everyone hates the man, I'm confused on how you're winning. Ah, uh, because of random chance. And you're losing because of random chance. And you're very much losing because of random chance, the conservatives. <laughs> like, they get a minus... They get a minus 35 from random chance. That's unfortunate. Boom, the bell tolls. <laughs> sure, conservatives. Now you're only minus 5. Wait, who is this man who took over the Mount Forces? A Republican man. Oh. Oh no, that's very interesting. And he's well connected, too. He's a Republican, so the armed forces are Republican now. That's not very conservative of you, is it? Yeah, we need a parliamentary Republican, they would endorse it, okay. Anyways, <laughs> they actually got more votes than you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so true. And the election is over. It's Jova. What if I were to do this? That would be minus 20, and armed forces would be minus... Ooh. 
We might actually do this. Because we get a random Republican guy to be in charge of the armed forces. We have a ginormous bonus because we are a righteous government to get ourselves a nice legitimacy. I mean, you should like this. Considering we own well voting and votes are gonna matter even more than they are now. Okay, so we are going to have to uh, do some upgrading. I am just gonna upgrade everything to the max. Oh, I do actually have lead mines here. I don't need to import lead. All uh, right, so uh, unproductive trade routes, get rid of those. What we hate to see is unproductive trade routes. We are going to export a bunch of glass to everyone. And also, we are not going to <laughs> export liquor, damn. Let's take a look at our investment pool. It is, it's doing very nicely. Army reserves, giving us more conscriptable with Italians. The North German Federation formed, giving us a bigger trade partner over here. The fate of the king, have the king abdicate or send him into exile. We are going to send this young man into exile. I am sorry, Mr. Hyun Yi, Mr. 22 year old traditionalist, but you're gonna get into exile. <laughs> Which your faction hates to see, but they're only un unhappy minus eight, so it's still fine. It's actually gonna be a peaceful transition of power. Because they are just they, ju they were very happy about the fact that um, we get laissez-faire. Okay, even more tools. Uh, and get ourselves even more tools. And we need to get ourselves even more textile mills. And we need to get ourselves even more furniture. These are way too profitable, I must say. Every single one of them. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's 23 days. Next tick is in 23 days. This tick will be done in... <laughs> Damn it! No tag even what's a fine. Lose 10%. We're almost at 10 million now. Everyone's invading the Qing. But again. Wait, it appears that Russia yeah, Russian Austria allied. <laughs> this is so based. On guard. Right, let's get ourselves a little bit of a chemical factory. Oh, they're done. They're back. They're here. We have 100 percent legitimacy though. It's only 91. It's only 91. It's only 91. <laughs> now, isn't that curious? <laughs> Twirled his mustache. <laughs> oh, isn't that curious? Where's the insufficient? Yeah, over here. No. Where? Okay, we're gonna build a, uh, another one of these here. Uh, then we're gonna build a paper over on this. Alright, so input good shortage, sulfur. Do I know I can't build any sulfur, so we're going to import sulfur. There we go. There are only 85 radical, so we are very fine. God damn! Why did it stall? No! Ah, there was a 30% chance that we won that! <laughs> Didn't happen. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. It is what it is. Also, we have 10 million GDP now, which you love to see. And Russia is failing against a no general Chang Empire. Wait, it appears that they have upgraded their troops. Hold on a second. Oh, it's 1525 on the lowest. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, there appear to be an input good shortage of lead, still. Uh, we now do have lead in our nation, over here. Still, this this lead- oh god, oh god, okay. I'm gonna need to build a few things over here. I'm gonna have to build more coal. I'm also gonna have to build more tools. I'm also gonna have to build more iron. And after that I will build more tools. Which would be an urban. Tooling workshops, please. Oh, we are actually building tooling workshops. There's a lot of things that are very expensive in my nation. Okay, this is this is absolutely fine. Uh, I'm gonna build two, maybe. I'm gonna build three more. I'm gonna build three more construction sectors. Just because I can. We get ourselves a little bit of dangerous equipment. So you're not Republican anymore. Now isn't that curious? <laughs> so the guy in charge of the armed forces. <laughs> God damn it. Because <laughs> why the hell not? God damn it. This guy's just neutral! This is so bad. <laughs> this this is actually just very unfortunate. But at least our GDP is growing, you know? Didn't get the parliamentary republic. We were so close. <laughs> Russia. Russia already got a treaty pot over here, and now they're just invading the rest of this. How did you get that treaty pot without getting the other things? Did you literally just invade for the treaty pot? That would be based, honestly. I mean, the Qing haven't updated the troops. And if we look at my troops, currently with an input good shortage, they have 6184. And their attack in all of their troops is 12. I feel inclined to attack the Qing for Manchuria, which in this has like really bad borders. 
Like, look at Manchuria. Like, he's Nova Manchuria, he's, he's Southern Manchuria, he's the rest of uh, what's still considered... This is still considered Manchuria by most. Um, but then we have this state. But, like, that's gonna, that's gotta be part of Manchuria. Like, this bit is it's part of Manchuria. It's, <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. And what is this state? Who did this? Who did this crying laughing emoji? Okay. Uh, atmospheric engine, giving us more throughput, which we desperately need, because we need iron. And we also need coal. We need a lot of things, honestly. Still have an input good shortage of artillery, meaning we can just build another one of uh, these. Let's take a little bit of a gander. 4.6 million GDP in this state. The arms industries are very, very profitable. And they're going to be even more profitable when I decide to invade someone. Which by all means should probably be like as soon as possible. I'm gonna just click this. So it's at the top. You gotta build for 30 weeks. I have 10 million pubs in unincorporated states. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> Considering I currently have five incorporated states. So it's, it's it's actually 10 million in five incorporated states. But you do you, man. You do you. I feel way too inclined not to invade right now. <laughs> Expel diplomats. It's about that time. End trade agreement. <laughs> that's just minus 10. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> They might realize what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Our investment pool is just managing to continuously grow. I'm gonna build two more. <laughs> right, we're losing more and more money, which is unfortunate to see. We're gonna go ahead and actually research this. Now we're gonna research currency standards. Because technically, I'm missing three tier one tech, so it's gonna take four years over here. So, this should do it. Yes, indeed, it do. So we're gonna lose a little bit of investment pool again. But it's gonna, you know... Turn back up. I would like to remind you that I'm still on low taxes. Also, this guy is an offensive planner. You love to see it. He's also in Surveyor, which is unfortunate, because it only gives home offense and defense. It's like one of the worst traits in the game. Uh, but like, it's fine if they attack, but I don't think they'll be attacking. And also I get like an offensive planner, so I'm, I'm gonna attack. Also, he's a mountain combat expert, giving us offense on elevated terrain, and guess what's over here? <laughs> so the plan's pretty simple, we are just gonna Okay, we do not have enough sulfur. Import some of the Austrian. It was actually just one sulfur, but it appears to have fixed the problem. We do have an unproductive trade route of grain. We could just import more coal, but no. I want as much domestically as possible. Let's take a little bit of a gander at our investment pool and actually look at who is bringing in the money. So it's mostly the trade center with the glass works behind it, the tooling workshops, coal mines, iron mines. Okay, it's mostly the trade center. Which you might be able to tell because I'm I'm using a bunch of bureaucracy on trade routes right now. It's minus five per trade route. Oh, now I have a coal problem. I should probably import coal. <laughs> you know, that speech I did about doing it domestically, don't care about it no more. I'm gonna go ahead and just simply do a little bit of dazzling. Helps our economy for the meantime while we wait on the coal mines being built. Which is going to take a while because... Even though we have a whole bunch of construction sectors, uh, it's still taking a while. But that is by design. Also, I think it's pretty its pretty funny. Like, a lot of people in my comment section just say, Vic Free bad. Or, you know, seeing this video make me realize that Vic Free is bad. We know! This game sucks! It should not have released already. <laughs> it should have released next year on Christmas. <laughs> Nonetheless... Pretty fun. It's not gonna lie. It's, just, it's pretty fun. The way Paradox works is, is just completely bad. And bad for business. Um, like for the industry. But it's really good for business. And also it's pretty fun. So why wouldn't I not, you know. <laughs> why would I not play the game? Uh, it appears that Russia has every single uh, thing they need. Yes, indeed. That is unfortunate. Considering they're going to entirely focus on me. When Russia is done with them. Being now. So I'm gonna get entirely focused in this war. No. Why? Because of Morocco. Siamese war reparations. Why wouldn't it? I still want to invade them, is the thing. <laughs> I shouldn't. I still want to, though. I just want to invade them so badly, man! I just want to invade the Qing! You know? Like any sensible human being. I, I want the free states! You know that feeling? That feeling when? You just want... How much GDP is in there? There's a lot of GDP in Southern Manchuria. Hold on a second here. 3.7 million over here, 800k, 1.7. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's gonna take a lot of infamy. I'm gonna improve relations with Russia and not embargo them. Oh god, our relations are poor. I was just cold. 
I was called by my... <laughs> I was called by my mother. I had to explain that I did not have time to talk at the current moment. <laughs> the real troubles of a YouTuber. <laughs> Explaining to your family that this is a job. <laughs> Anyways, um, for some reason, the free trade party is still a thing. Even though... Oh, he, he's still here! He is still here! This motherfucker is still here! They got 81 momentum! Because this guy is all so popular! What do you mean, 70 loved? He is a corrupt- He's corrupted by power! <laughs> Everyone hates him! And he's just a charismatic man! He is a charismatic philanthropist and also a chess master, which makes him 100% loved. What the hell?! Everyone else has minus values. And for them, it's not even- <laughs> For the conservatives, it's not even because of their leaders. Their leaders are just popular, but like, it's a random value that they got at the start of the election. Rick Free is not a very good video game. <sighs> Time to upgrade our bureaucracy, because Jesus Christ, we need an upgrade to our bureaucracy. We're going to build a bunch of stuff, and uh, the investment pool has caught up back uh, to our building. Everyone is loyal. <laughs> Everyone is loyal, happy, <laughs> except the rural folk. <laughs> But there's a lot of happy people, and a lot of good modifiers that I'm getting right now. And we got even better things. I mean, we could upgrade this. Give us more steel. Uh, this will take steel, so you'll be a little bit more profitable, and... The conservative party is getting on. I apologize, man. I mean, at least this time it's not just the armed forces, it's the armed forces and the church. The free trade party, like... This, calling yourself that in this nation is basically just saying, Oh yeah, we like to think to keep things like they are right now. Oh, I can get better tax laws. I forgot they also exist. Anyway. Yeah, and you endorse this change. You just very much love to see the industrialists. They are just very happy people right now. Inefficient agriculture giving us a migration attraction. But our, you know, our cultural laws need a little bit of refining. Can't really do anything against them. We actually over here. Like what? <laughs> Rousing speech captivates the public, giving us more enactment chance. Uh, based on the fact that I'm currently losing money, yes, indeed. We are currently building a government administration building. I like how I can immediately tell if I'm building a government building or not. I honestly can't wait to play around with the uh, new autonomous. Uh, um, because if you don't know, um, they are going to do the. Uh, they are going to make the investment pool autonomous, so people can actually invest uh, in stuff on their own. Uh, so basically, they're going to implement Victoria 2 in Victoria 3. And I'm, I'm excited about it. Hopefully the AI is better than it was in Vic 2. <laughs> because in Vic 2, you see, there's a little thing uh, we call the, uh, the laissez-faire debacle. Where every time uh, you get laissez-faire, your entire co economy crashes. Um, because then people can shut down factories. And you want to be on interventionism the entire time, because... Um, People invest in stuff, then they build that stuff, and then you immediately subsidize it. And if you don't subsidize any of them, they will all go bankrupt, and your industry score will crash and die. So naturally, uh, when I picked up this game, and I was just playing multiplayer when it came out the entire time, I, I stayed on I stayed on interventionism, and I feared, I physically feared <laughs> the possibility of going... <laughs> <laughs> I feared the possibility that I might just end up on laissez-faire. I, I had actual PTSD. Uh, but then, you know, I learned how this game is broken, and then, and then it all, you know, came together. Anyways, religious schools. Because I got my, uh, I got my literacy up to uh, 38% uh, from whatever it started at, without schooling system. Which is interesting. Also, 1.7 million loyalists. 1.8k radicals. That's gonna change soon. Very soon, actually. Because we are going... Right, so let's make a little bit... <laughs> less money. Because of a schooling system? I think it's time. I think it's time. There's a time for anything. And I think the time is now. I... I, I think... I, I think the time is not now. Yeah, I still owe an obligation to them. <laughs> Whoops. Like, what do you mean I owe an obligation to you still? It's been... Um, it's been many years! How long do obligations last? Yeah, owes obligation to Grey Cheng. How long do they last? Yeah, I'm not gonna have utilizing atmospheric engines for a long time anymore. 
Which would be un which is very unfortunate considering I'm very much surviving on it right now because we have a lot of throughput. Okay, at this point I should be like a significant producer of tools, right? Yeah, num I'm the number nine producer of tools. That is embarrassing. <laughs> I can confidently say that is in that is completely embarrassing to anyone below me. Like I'm Korea. Baden? What the fuck, Baden? I'm I'm just slightly below Spain. Oh god. Let's take a look at Cole. Let's take a look at Cole. I'm number seven over here. Baden, Bavaria, two Sicilies. Two Sicilies is under me. Two fucking Sicilies is under me. Like, if we take a look at our GDP and look at our most GDP rich state, let's take a look what's the mo iron. Iron? Let me take a look at that. Number seven producer of iron. I produce as much iron as the East India Company. <laughs> the East India Company. I produce as much iron as they do. So based, honestly. They also got a national anthem. Awesome for you. So let's take a little bit of a gander. We can build. We can build. We can build more, man. We can build more. We can just build more. Build more! There's a lot of construction sectors and it's 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 not gonna be a good idea. But we're gonna do it. Food industries? More like yes. Tooling workshops? More like yes. Donation of knowledge? More like yes. I love that event. I love donations of knowledge. Paper is like very cheap in my nation. Hold on. Gotta change that. So we should be losing a significant amount of this. Yes, indeed we are. You, which you would think is bad, but then you realize we have 1.16 million in our investment pool currently. And when we hit zero, it's gonna be like the new investment pool sources are gonna be up. If we even hit zero, then it's gonna be like 1k. And I can deal with that because I'm on low taxes. And I have a bunch of uh, authority, which is going towards enactment time, but I'm not enacting anything, so I'm basically just wasting authority. Which is a good point. Colonial exploitation. This is a very bad idea, I'm not doing that. <laughs> we could go for welfare, but no. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a decree over here. Now, what if I were to do enlistment efforts all over the place? That's a lot of battalions. <laughs> that's a lot of battalions. Oh, that's a lot of battalions, isn't it? Oh, that's a lot of battalions. Oh, I can- I can get Southern Manchuria. I'm gonna get Southern Manchuria. <laughs> so much infamy. Oh, God! Before I do anything, can we get a defensive guy? How loyal are you? 17. I can absolutely fire some of you. I'm retiring him. For God's sake, it's- it's- it's, it's literally just these people. Like, these are not bad, but I- I want- I want- I want, like, really good guys. And Raffle too. That's plus 40. Gotta get you a little bit done. Defense. Get army. Activate conscription sectors. Full taxes. And full army wages. Great Ching declared rival. What? <laughs> Great Ching declared rivalry. We're gonna go for war reps. They have sent a lot of people to the front. It's fine. It's fine. They also have a good truce with Great Ching and would not accept this way, even if they didn't. Now, the Great Ching might be cocky. And I have a lot of input good shortage. Oh, small arms. I was importing small arms from them. We really can't have a small arms input good shortage. That much is obvious. I'm also- I can import from them still. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, these unproductive traitors can go. I'm promoting him to be the man of all men. He should immediately get every troop. He's a defensive strategist, giving him plus 10%. He gives- he gets another plus 10%. Does more morale damage. Takes a little bit more morale loss. Let's take a look at their biggest general. Raffle. Stalwart Defender. We now have a hundred troops here. Their number is four to one. Let's see how it goes. We win the defense. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope we win the defense. It does look like it. It does look like we are going to win. Which is good. You love to see that. Taxing liquor. We don't want to go bankrupt. We're going to not do social mobility anymore. And with our newly required required thing, we're gonna tax luxury furniture. We're gonna win this battle over here. <laughs> we also got even less morale loss, which you love to see. But those were a lot of casualties on our side. For us, only more people come to the front. We get camouflaged. You love to see it. They didn't get any bonus. Central archives. Yeah, meticulous, meticulous. Uh, we just got banking. Let's get something that just helps us. Fieldworks gives us better defense. We're probably not gonna get it in time. Do remember, we are doing we are doing a lot of casualties to them, but they're also giving us a lot of casualties, which is not good. We might be able to bleed them dry, but they might be able to bleed us dry. Currently, we are just winning. 
Currently, we are just winning. They did actually upgrade their army. N not over here. They have to have upgraded their army somewhere. Uh, yeah, they now have line infantry and cannon artillery over in everywhere but the capital, I guess. If we win this, like, we got saved by that. <laughs> we got saved by poor visibility. Okay. We have a lot of input charges. One of which is very bad. Get 100 from Russia. This should help us. Just somehow still have an artillery shortage. <laughs> Interesting. Get one from Britain. We've killed 20k, basically. We've basically killed 20k out of their troops. And they have killed around 10. So we're doing twice the damage, which isn't enough. Because they outnumber us 4 to 1. But now we are holding. By the way, our war. <laughs> we have a lot of input good shortages, is what I want to say. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of... Oh yeah, we now have chemicals, so we are now going to do a little bit of this. <sighs> okay, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. This is absolutely fine. This is absolutely fine. What do you mean? Okay, from we went down from minus 40 to minus 27. Mind you, we are getting carried by this by this mass and straight. And by nice modifiers. Hey, 666. Six, six. Oh. <laughs> Another one. You love to see it. Okay. We're now only minus 20. Oh. My heart. Like, I'm dying right now. It's so bad. <laughs> we can't even buy it for a white piece. Like, they... Let's try to make a white piece. They wouldn't accept because of their... Uh, they're in bankruptcy. <laughs> they're in default, I think. It's a minus. So they're, uh, they are on full capacity right now. And being in default gives us a defensive buff. Uh, being in default... Very bad. Because as soon as it hits 50 minus, we're gonna have to declare bankruptcy, which gives us plus 50 for ten, minus 50 for 10 years. And we are currently losing so much money, precisely because of our inability to run an industry right now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, guys. <laughs> I'm saving the sewer. Defend. We can't attack. We can't attack. We can't. We can't attack. We can do this defense, though. I'm not financing shit. Fuck you. Okay, how's the gold reserves looking? Entirely full. <laughs> They're entirely full? <laughs> the gold reserves are entirely full! They can just field this army! They can just field this army! They did not mobilize. I'll give that to them. <laughs> okay, look at- look at this! Look at this! <laughs> look at this! <laughs> I've killed 300,000 men! Oh, we're almost there. Oh, we've gone below! He's an expert, but we've gone below and have made a blunder. Ah, F in the chat. F in the chat. Rest well, you magnificent bastard. Declare bankruptcy. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we, we didn't do it. We're paying money to the Cheng. We're paying money to the Cheng. Well, we tried. We tried. We tried. But in the end, it doesn't even matter.